Hello, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Jesse at the Fountain Valley Branch, and today we're going to be reading Rabbit, 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 written and illustrated by Lorna Scobie. Thanks to Macmillan Publishing for letting us read this. Nope. Can we see? Foxtail and a bee. Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit by Lorna Scobie. A little gray rabbit. I am the only child in my family, and that's the way I like it. So, he's an only child, only rabbit. The fox next door says she likes having rabbits around. The more, the merrier, she says. But I can't see why. So, I guess rabbit likes being alone. I like having everything to myself. My flower, my carrots, my stretching area, my bedroom. But my parents have some news. Suddenly, I am no longer the only child. So what happened? Yeah. He has a sibling now, a younger brother or sister. I no longer have everything to myself. Destroying my flower, eating my carrots, napping in my stretching area, in my bedroom. I have to establish some rules. So he's not happy about having another brother or sister. This works well. Your side, my side. Until, uh-oh, those are his parents again. What do you think they're gonna say? My parents have more news. And more, and more! Uh-oh, what happened? More brothers and sisters. That's a lot. Something has to be done! That's a lot of rabbits. Uh-oh. Wow, different colors, different sizes. And they're eating all his carrots. No space for him to stretch. Then I remember the fox. Would you look after these rabbits? Gladly! Yes! Uh-oh, was that a good idea? I don't know. We'll see if the fox is good at taking care of rabbits. It's just me! Just me in all this space. Does rabbit look happy being by himself? Hmm. Just me? Yeah, he doesn't look too happy, does he? I go next door. Would you like to come in too? The more the merrier. Okay then, I guess. Uh-oh, he's gonna go into the fox's house. There's all the brothers and sisters. Do you see their eyes? They look happy. They look a little scared. Uh-oh. Maybe this isn't a good idea. <gasps> and, to, and much to my surprise... Uh-oh. Little gray rabbit looks maybe scared. Okay, let's see what happened. <gasps> it is fantastic! <gasps> They're having a party! All his brothers and sisters. Ooh, looks like fun. Streamers and carrots and even a disco ball. How cool. Ooh, they're dancing. The end. That was cool. And that was Rabbit, 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 written and illustrated by Lorna Scobie, with permission from Macmillan Publishing. Well, I hope you had fun and enjoyed that story, and we'll see you in the next story time. Bye!
let's make handprint rabbits. For this craft, you will need paper, scissors, crayons or colored pencils or markers, and your hand. Start by tracing your hand on a sheet of paper. Make sure your fingers are slightly apart when tracing. Round off the bottom of your hand. Next, cut out your hand following the lines you made. Now, fold the thumb and pinky forward. If you want to make the hands more even, cut into the hand and make the pinky longer. Everyone's rabbit will look different since our hands are different sizes and shapes. To finish the head, either fold back the middle finger or cut it off. Now the fun part, time to design your rabbit. Start by coloring in the inner ears. Don't forget to color in the other ear. Next, the face. Start with the nose by making a triangle. Draw a letter J under the nose, then a second J facing the opposite direction to make the mouth. Draw eyes and whiskers near the nose. Make three lines on each hand to make the paws. Draw one upside down U on the left and one on the right to make the feet. Add lines to make the toes. Have fun making more surprises, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!